Hello there, I uh, got a painting set of Lightwish watercolor to test it out and I'm always wondering what the paint does when I use everything together if they are still very bright or muddy or whatever so I'm going to test them out all together so let's see what's going to happen okay uh, let's see what we can do and test these paints with those uh, with this wonderful brush I got um, let's see I got a paper with rough texture and smooth so let's see starting with the yellow one I'm going to to see what it's going to do you know on the rough texture you will have white points let's see the brush is nice great color has a lot of pigments looks good <laughs> very strong color the, the, the violet ultramarine but you do have to know where your colors are because if you don't you can't see what it is you always have to test it out see here's a wonderful paddle let's see and the other ones the blue and the back it's the indigo and we're going to the green colors See what happens when you use more water. And black. Do you use it? Yes. And black. Well, as you can see, they are very bright the colors. They look really very good. So I'm going to see what I can do with and then use some water. Let's do see what happens. Just take it with me. Over the yellow and see. Oh, 
on the paper where it's uh, it has not much structure, fine structure, it dries much much faster. So it also depends on what paper you work. See. Still can get a lot of weight. Let's see here. Colors are now all together, but they still keep very good. I'm gonna wait now a bit until it's dry, and then I'm going to test out to make something on it and see what happens. See if I can take uh, some paint away with a hard brush as I usually do to make some trees or whatever. So I'm going to test it first on the rough paper. Let's see. Yeah, it's coming loose a bit. Let's see. Over here, yep, it still works. Let's see on the other paper. It works a bit better on this paper with almost no structure. You see. That's the difference. Okay, I'm going to make some bushes with the green color. I use different greens together. And let's see what's going to happen on top of the other paint in my opinion it works fine over the other paint That looks great. Let's see. I'm gonna add some darker in it. And this color, I think it's the little green. Very strong color. That looks good. Some ochre in it. It really mix, mixes perfectly. As you can see. And over here let's make some sort of flowers in the red and orange color. 
salas sim Something like this. Some red in it. Get up water. Let's add some more red, darker red, and maybe some purple, dark purple. Really strong. The purple, you don't even see it's purple. It's almost black if you use a lot of paint and less water. Let's see. Let's take it a bit down. You see it's more blue. It's not really purple. Let's see. This is a purple. That one was uh, the indigo blue. This blue. Back to the orange, the yellows. Let's see what that is going to do. Colors are still keeping naturally. Even when I use those colors together. The yellow with the violet. Oh, I'm going to take the over here a bit too. Let's see. It's really bright because of the light. And over here. It's darker. Let's see. Don't use the yellow. So let's see with the yellow one. Over the other color. Very nice. Let's see what do we have? The brown. Just a bit of fantasy what I'm doing. Take a bit back over here, even on the green. Thank you. 
out, still looking good. As you can see. can always make more color on the right side with a bigger brush. Some blue again over it. Looks like a bit of water over here. It looks nice. Let's see what it does on top. Oh, it's a bit purple. Over the colors I did before. And it, it all stays very nice and very natural. So I really do love the colors. Let's add some dark over here. That's the indigo blue. Maybe use the black for once. Actually I don't use black but let's try it. Just to add some details. It works fine, as you can see. Yes, it's really looking nice. I think we're done over here. Um, that's going to be the same. It's only going to be rougher. That's all. But the colors over here are really lovely. Let's see. First, again, some orange over here. Just over it. You see, it looks very nice. Maybe a bit darker. It's a very strong color. Just gonna add some water against it. It's really looking good. Yes. Yes, it's indeed uh, very lovely, very good paint. It has uh, really a lot of potential to make wonderful watercolors. And it's easy in uh, a box, of course. You have everything together. You can use the box to mix your paint. But as you can see you can mix whatever you can even when you want red or whatever you go over all of them like that and then you have a special color and as you can see it stays nice and you have a mixed color you can do it with the blue colors too, blue, purple, purple takes the upper hand of course, as you add more blue, you see, looks very nice. So um, I can only say it's a very good paint and as usual I'm going to use it of course in uh, other videos too so I'm going to leave my tubes a bit away so let's see 
see this is very nice. As you can see, it looks very nice. And the difference. The color. I mean, it's looking good. I'm really happy with it. Well, as you know, I'm more of a spontaneous painter. So I use the colors as I feel. And I can say that whatever I use from Lightwish paint, it feels good. And the paint meets my expectations. So, I can say that you are, if you are a beginner or an expert, this paint is excellent. And also the price is very interesting. And uh, in the comment section below you can find all the info if you're interested. And uh, hereby I wish you all the best and enjoy painting. Bye now.